walking on that hillside over there. We go up the other road, we should be able to see them a little better. We're just about to get this hillside along this road. this morning.
be a cut a little grass. Alright y'all, we made it down to Mississippi, finna cut a little grass. Not a whole lot to cut here. This is our camp that's over here in Mississippi. Y'all can hear Pete, I got him in a box while I'm cutting grass. He don't like that one bit. Alright y'all, the camp back there that I was cutting on, it was on the property when we got it. And right up the road from there is this little camp. And it was on the property when we got it also. At one time, they were owned by the same person because the camps look nearly the same. One's a little bigger than the other, but they some fun little places to stay. Mississippi unloaded the grasshopper got it back in the barn and we're fixing to ease down here and check on these logs. I see I graded right here this morning and every time they run and they just pack and getting it harder and harder we're gonna end up with a good road before it gets through I gotta keep working on it and get some of these leaves out of the way but so far so good whacking on it pretty good there was quite a few poles right up here that they got out this morning. See one still there. Not sure how many loads of poles they got. Yeah, just about knocked the side of this hill out. A strip of hardwood in there we'll get later. I think the mill's fixing to start taking taking back some pine pulp wood. Be a little bit of that in here. out there. This thing's gonna kind of look raggedy for a little while and I know it and I hate it but basically under them pines right now there was nothing. Nothing for the wildlife. So we're gonna come in here when they get done and kind of do a little custom spraying and we're gonna end up with a big briar thicket. It is gonna be Lots of tonnage of food for the deer and lots of good nesting for the turkeys. There's so much hardwood on this place, we're not going to lose any roosting. They travel through these pines, but it's not a normal roosting site. Over in the hardwood oh, is where most of the turkeys have roosted forever, and I think they get used to that because that has not changed. You, you can affect them a little bit when you clear cut some spots that they're used to, used to roosting in. And we'll deal with that a little bit over in Mississippi because it's pretty much solid pines. But we're always leaving enough for them to roost in and stuff, never take them completely out in a big, big area. So uh, you can move them around a little bit. I have seen a spot years ago was not ours it was loaded with turkeys it was about 3,000 acres and it had this timber lease on it like a 99 year timber lease or something and when that comes up it basically had to get all they was gonna get out and then start over and yes it did hurt the turkeys it was awful oh uh, don't affect the deer quite as much but it did affect the turkeys, and that's one thing that we don't want to affect is the turkeys. But we wouldn't be doing near as much clear cutting here if we didn't have the hardwood. But two to three, four years, it's going to be right. The biggest thing that I stress with these loggers is to stay out of my fields. And since we're clear cutting, that shouldn't be too hard. 
because we have got some beautiful clover. I mean, it is hanging in there good. One thing I figured out, these little patches of grass like that right there, it's, it's some type of nut grass and the 2,4-D or the clethodem does not kill it. Anything that will kill that, like Roundup or whatever, will kill our clover. So I'm gonna come in here with a little pop-up sprayer. There's not but about 10 or 15 spots of them little clumps of nut all grass or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna come in here with a little pump-up sprayer with Roundup and just spray right on top of them spots and get that out of there where it doesn't spread. But this thing's holding on good. Of course, we've had a lot of moisture, but I think it'll make it most of the summer. Drying out a little bit, they're skidding some of this out. Some of these little wet spots, but not too bad, and getting it on up on top of the hill. Pretty good load right there. They just nearly got it cut all the way to the fence. I'm gonna try to zoom in down here. Corner of the fence is right through there. We'll ride down there and see if we can get a little closer. I see the cutters over there. Whacking on it pretty good. Not too wet right through there where they're at now. So I got my front bumper back. The thing is, what we decided to do, the guy that builds them, the worst part was this bottom piece that goes in these holes right here. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna bolt it back up to the car where it bolts right there. And then we're going these pieces right here, we got the frame straight, these pieces right here are just a little bit bent, and we're gonna bolt it back up and take the porter power and push it back over and then put this bottom piece in that goes in the bottom of the nose. I'm not crazy about this bumper. It weighs about 250 pounds, quite a bit overkill. Uh, this actually looks like a rear bumper off of a late model or something that was welded inside all this. I'm not sure. But we're gonna do something different next time, lighten it up a little bit. It's just too much weight, too much going on there, too busy. We're going to see if we can get her bolted back up. We have to do some whooping with a hammer here in a minute. Just a little bit of gap over here, and that's where we're going to be pushing it. I'm going to get it up to snug. I don't know if I got time to this evening to uh, get the port of power out or not. y'all so I decided to push on it for just a second ok 
try to get that gap it's right there closed up a little bit and this one it's coming just got to make sure I push right all right she's coming back pretty straight just about ready to get this piece whooped in there bolt it back up She's just about to come back together. I ain't sure if we ain't just a little bit long on that bottom. We'll have to lay the nose up there and see first. All right, y'all. Got the bumper back on, and it's pretty straight. May have to do just a little bit more pushing. Decided I think we're going to go ahead and order a new nose and build, uh, go ahead and build new fenders and a hood. That other stuff's wadded up pretty bad. I, we could beat it out and make it work, but I think we're gonna take our time and try, kind of do it right. Get it back right, looking decent. Anyway, me and Pete's headed back to the farm, see what's going on. Let's go. Come on. All right, y'all, me and Pete made it back to the farm. I believe the loggers are gone for the day, getting pretty late in the evening. Run down here and out there close to the loaders where we can see that hill and see how much they got doing, how much they lack. All right, the loaders right up there, they got a lot of this side. Still a little wet down there in that bottom. But they've got a lot of it. All right, I'm up here on the hill right by the loader now. Pretty wet right there. They was able to get some down in that bottom today that way towards the gas line. We may ride down there and see how far they got. Able to get over the hill there. They doing a pretty good job. This weather will hold up. They saving a lot of this up on the hill for uh, when it rains because it's taking a little while for that down there to dry out. But pulling a lot of wood out of here. All right, they made it a pretty good piece that way. Pretty good day working around the mud. All right, y'all. I believe me and Pete finna call it a day. Y'all like our stuff? Subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.